I guess it all began at Wesleyan <laughs> yeah. in K through 12 school when um, we met. That was what? How many years ago do you think that was? In quote, met. Yeah, we've known each other for probably yeah. over eight, 18 years, maybe. I mean, kindergarten. Yeah, known each other, but yeah. like I said, in quote, met because. You never talked to me in high school. I didn't. I was actually very intimidated. Yes. You used to Snapchat me and you would say, I'm going to marry you one day. And I thought you were so crazy because I never thought that that would ever happen. And yeah. it's kind of funny that I'm looking back on it that you would randomly say that to me. And then now here we are five years later. Five years later. Some of my favorite memories were when we first started dating and I would go to Virginia Tech. That's what um, I was going to say, like traveling back and forth and stuff. Yeah, and the long distance side of it for yeah. probably, I would say, three of the five years were long distance and having to learn to to cope together, yeah. being together when you're so far apart from each other. <laughs> <laughs> But we made it work, and here we are. <laughs> now, now we're here. You know what God has joined together? Let no one separate. Bryce, you may now kiss your bride. It is my pleasure and honor to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Bryce Lennon. As I look around this room, I am speechless at the amount of family, friends, and loved ones who are here to celebrate the love and commitment between Helene and Bryce. It's a true representation of the magnitude of the love between these two and how many lives they have touched because of the care they show for one another and for those around them. You want me to turn around? Turn around. Wow, yeah. I was, uh... Oh, you look so cute. <laughs> Do you like my dress? Yes, it is beautiful. Thank you. And you are beautiful. Thank you, bye. It is long. It's very big. I told you it was big. It is big. Yay. Do I get a kiss? Can I get a kiss? Yeah. I love you. Love you. I normally have no issues speaking in front of people, but I have been nervous about this one since these two got engaged, I'm not gonna lie. Um, when writing this speech um, and thinking about all the elements that I wanted to be a part of it, the thought occurred to me that in actuality, I've been writing this speech for the past 17 years. Every single moment that Helena and I have been lucky enough to share with one another up to this point has all built up to this. This dream that we have shared with one another since we were little girls. That we would marry the love of our lives. I'm so overwhelmed with joy as I stand before you all and can say that my best friend has found her forever person. It's obvious, it's meant to be. Don't have to try, it comes naturally. Helena, from the moment I first met you, I fell in love with everything about you. There's not a day that doesn't go by that I don't thank God for blessing me with such a beautiful and wonderful human being. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me, and no matter what, it will always be you. I promise to always be your best friend, and as we go through life together, maybe laugh along the way, through the good and the bad. And that has always been one of my favorite things about you, that you will always put a smile on my face no matter what. And lastly and most importantly, I promise to always put God first. We both know that that's the only way to a beautiful marriage, to have a foundation in Christ. Thank you for being my rock. I love you. I love you. A lot of things have been mentioned and I've thought about a lot of things over the past few weeks about what to say, where to go handle, you know, how to get through this. Over the past year, you've really shown me just how much you love my daughter. 
no matter what happens in this world, I know you two will be together for the rest of your life. Uh, and I love you both, and I want you to know that. Bryce, I seriously could not have asked for a more patient, loving, hardworking, charismatic, and attentive husband for my best friend. You are the calm to her storm, and you always bring out the best sides of her. You love and care for her in such a way that you would think it is straight out of a fairy tale. When I think of all the times she prayed for her future husband, I think of all the ways that God was equipping you to be the perfect lifelong partner for her. Your love for her is truly radiating. It's strengthening, it's encouraging, and it's true, and it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever had the pleasure of experiencing. For not only loving her like she deserves, but for fulfilling those prayers that she prayed as a little girl. I love you for loving her so well, and I'm so glad that she chose you.